looks like. So charging jackeries from the car while also charging devices at the same time. I even have my camera plugged in as I'm recording. <laughs> Take the energy from the, the vehicle when you can. Hey, so, you know, nomadic lifestyle, right? You got to go where you got to go. And I, I talked earlier today about my one friend's wife having the flu, so I didn't really want to go to Mountain Home, Alabama. And literally within five minutes of each other, another friend from Minneapolis texts me that he's going to be in Bentonville, Arkansas, mountain biking in, on Friday. So I settled in in mountain or in uh, Bentonville, Arkansas, and I'm just taking a couple days. He's not here till Friday. It's Tuesday night, and I'm going to take a couple days to just settle in. I'm organizing the van. You know, I still have got stuff in boxes that I'm putting away, and I'm going to spend a, just a couple days. I'm, I have a lot of editing to catch up on. I'm going to be I'm not going to really go anywhere. I'm going to mountain bike. I'm going to hike. It's just, it's so fun how things work out, right? Like, what are the chances that a pretty good friend of mine, who I hadn't seen in a couple of years in Minneapolis, <laughs> I'm going to see in Bentonville. And he he was actually the one I mentioned him in an earlier, earlier, earlier video that built my bike with me with his spare parts of other bikes, my other bike, not the one I have with me, but the one I almost brought with me was one he helped me with. And we've gone on mountain bike trips before. We are colleagues at work and really looking forward to seeing him. He's coming down with his sons and we'll hang out. Um, he's gonna be here a week. I'll probably just hang out for a day and then start heading east after that. Maybe see my friend in Mountain Home if everyone is healthy by then. Uh, so one thing I, I learned is I had my, I had my EcoFlow back behind my fridge back there and it it is too difficult to get to and see how much charge is left and the outlets are behind it and usb stuff in the front of it and it's just really difficult it was really difficult to get to so i am going to move that i don't know where yet i think i know i think it's going to go up on the bed platform so i have easy access to it but just kind of a Kind of a pain i'll have to put something else back there because it's I, don't, I can't move the fridge back anymore i don't waste the space but i forgot to i didn't have the solar panels plugged in today when i was driving it wasn't super sunny so i was a little concerned that i wouldn't have enough power running i got the diesel heater going tonight i could probably go without it but i thought one more time and it spilled again by the way at the top even though it didn't tip over it was full and at an angle and it leaked so it smells like diesel in here again but i have to run the heater so I'm running some other lights and with what I've got and I just plugged in my fridge for the first first time I've got it going I figured in Minneapolis I didn't probably really need to have it running because uh, it was cold enough and with the power everything is drawing right now I have I'm at 60% and I have 11 hours left running the diesel heater the fridge and the fridge is on max to get down to temperature. So once it's at temperature, it won't draw near as much. So I bet if I check this later, it'll go up to like 13 hours, 14 hours. So I'm I'm good. I'll plug plug in the solar tomorrow. This I, I like I like this a lot. Yeah, things are coming together. So pretty cool. So I had said after the fridge gets down to temperature that I I thought I'd get a lot more juice left on the eco flow and it didn't take long to the fridge to get it i don't know why it says it's 23 i only wanted it to be 26 28 but after it got down to temperature which did not take very long when it was powering up to to cool down the fridge i had 11 hours left based on running the heater and the fridge and the light and on the EcoFlow, which is only at 58% right now, but it actually, I thought it would go up from 11 to maybe 14 or 15 hours left, but it jumped up to 20, 25 hours left running what I have right now. That in, you know, I'll charge it solar tomorrow. It'll be back up to 100%. So this baby is definitely going to do it.
I mean, unless I ran into several really cloudy days, but, and I'm at a campsite, rarely at a campsite. It's so rare. First time uh, that I paid to sleep in my four months or whatever of nomadic lifestyle. But I can plug it in tomorrow if I had to, if it was cloudy. But otherwise, the solar will charge just fine. So I am making good progress on organizing. And I'm just being really present and doing what I need to do. I'm... Hey, good morning. Um, my first kind of real morning, it feels like, uh, on the road at this campsite in Arkansas. And I'm just hanging out, organizing. As I organize, it gets messier and messier. But I am doing... To me, what's well, kind of a big deal. Making my first pot of coffee. That is proof that I'm on the road. <laughs> I really, I'm really kind of excited <laughs> to, to make. I haven't read any instructions. <laughs> haven't added water yet. But I'm anxious to hit that start button. <laughs> Just going to be a day of hanging out. I do have to... I came in late last night. And I'm in the, a wrong spot. And they, didn't, they don't have a spot for Saturday night. Which is fine. But I have two different spots the next two nights. So I'm going to have to leave here shortly. And then go somewhere else and organize, I think. If they kick me out. But anyway. Yeah. I'm out. I've got nothing to do today. But hang out here in the van. Organize, which I've already done quite a bit this morning, edit, and probably go talk to a lot of people, I would guess. Okay, share this moment with me. See if I can figure it out. I haven't read any instructions. Rich. Uh, it's not a full pot. Do I, what do I do? See, that's why you don't get fancy stuff. Is that 46 ounces? Rich. It's warming. I'm going to have my first pot of coffee in just a minute. I did move my uh, solar generator over here so I have better access to the power to see what's going on. It's charging right now and it's at, it's charging pretty, oh, that's the prettiest sound ever. Oh my gosh. Is that seriously not everyone's favorite sound? <laughs> of brewing coffee? <laughs> like, really, that's the best sound ever. Love it. <laughs> what is better than the sound of brewing coffee? is the smell of brewing coffee. Keep her coming. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. I, I don't know why this brings me so much pleasure, but it does. It really does. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful morning this morning. A little chilly. Last night I was actually colder. I don't know why my diesel heater didn't seem to heat up like it it does some some days i think it might be because i didn't have i wasn't all closed up on my windows so i didn't have the insulation so i could feel cold air coming in from the windows because normally i like i was blocking them off and i had pillows and darkening stuff and even in the front so i think that's probably why but i'm just organizing today got bins out I'm gonna figure out what I can throw away and what I need to keep and yes this where I'm staying is like a parking lot yes it is I came in late and didn't know where to go and everything's booked and I'm just fine with this this is perfect I, I have a picnic table I can work on I, can, I don't know why the electrical in my little thing isn't working so I am charging my Jackery with solar Wow, it's actually charging pretty fast. Just hanging out. This is just wonderful today. The first cup of coffee. Uh, and you know what's really cool is that 
I was watching the solar generator. I didn't look at the draw. Oh, it did take, it used about 2% <laughs> to, to brew that pot of coffee, but you only got to brew one pot a day and it'll charge rest. But so it wasn't too bad. That was so good. <laughs> so good. Actually, it was really good coffee. That was pretty amazing coffee, actually. And I love it. It'll brew a single cup. Uh, any any size I want, like a travel cup, a single cup. And it takes K-cups, which I don't like to use K-cups very often because of the waste. But sometimes if you're just, if I'm in a hurry and just got to go, that's nice. All right. Cheers. I am so happy. I found it. If you watch my up north drive video where I lost my microphone because I had it on my seatbelt and I took off my seatbelt and I thought it went out on the gas station ground and I was cleaning right now and in the front underneath the floor I was checking to see if anything was there and there it was. So now I have both. This is so great. I'm so, oh gosh. This is awesome. I made so much progress today. <laughs> I am just thrilled. I might have to show it all tomorrow, but I'm actually cooking my first meal. But I went simple. I went steak and eggs. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with the progress I made today. But Bentonville is a huge mountain biking area. I mean, there's van lifers everywhere with mountain bikes, and it's really pretty cool. I'm right kind of on the, well, right at the a trailhead. Kind of got to watch this because I've never used this before. <laughs> Try to think, do I have anything else? I installed puck lights today, battery powered. One out here. And two on the rough. I hung all my, my carafe here and some cups and my thermos organized, put up hooks. I did a lot. I did a lot today. I won't say. And it was really, really nice. It was warm today. I, uh, I just hung out and worked and I was barefoot. It was great. Pretty good handle on my thoughts and stuff. And I'm going to eat some dinner and then I'm going to edit. I've, I'm almost done with one video, my first day video. And then I got to get to work on my window <laughs> install video. I, um, I don't care how good a steak is. I put A1 on everything. On all. I, I, I don't know why I'm still videoing. <laughs> it can't be that exciting. <laughs> I've got nothing really to say. <laughs> just, um, I don't know, just cooking some dinner and I'm going to go sit outside and do something different. Talk to you. Talk to you. I don't have much, to, I don't have a whole lot to say today. Well, <laughs> I probably do, but I just don't feel like saying it, I think is probably more it. I haven't talked to anybody today outside of the people at Walmart. You know, when you're in Bentonville, you do need to go to Walmart. But I, yeah, outside of the person that working at the campground or Walmart, I haven't talked to a person all day. I can't tell if that's cooked. First time using the stove. That was so easy. Just plug in the propane, click the button, fire it up. It was the easiest but I do not think, some people do cold weather camp. Uh, I just don't, I mean, I would do it for a couple nights, you know, if I was traveling and stuff, but I do not, would not want to be long-term in cold. It's just so much more comfortable when you can have the door open and sleep better and not have to have a diesel heater running. 
and I've never done it this way before, but I'm just doing it together. I was at Walmart and I was just gonna get normal olive oil, but the guy said, oh, I just got this stuff the other day and it was so good. It's organic, of course, from Greece. Terracreta, Terracreta, early harvest. Hand-picked olives. Sorry, the light is really bad. I hung this, I got it spray painted and got it hung really well. So that's gonna be right now my hats and gloves, but it'll probably get converted to something else later. Another thing I did today. Oh, and I, my Aunt Judy, I found this rock on Whidbey Island and I sent it to her and she painted that for me and it's one of my favorite little things that reminds me of Whidbey Island, it's really cool. And then I hung hooks here for jackets. So, little, oh, and my, my whale fin kind of reminds me of Whidbey Island and sailing, so. I kind of like it. sure that that the uh, the solitude of van life is always going to work for me like I do like to engage with people so I do hope no no it's not bad it's been I mean I didn't have a bad day I just I start to feel it like I want to talk to people and about experiences and So we'll see how that how that all goes, which is one of the reasons why I kind of want to do more urban boondocking than I am not a person to go by myself in the wilderness for a week. I'll, I'll go for a day hike and backpack for a night or something, but I, I don't want to be alone with my, <laughs> with my body, especially when I talk for an extended period of time. But anyway. My first dinner in the van. I'm trying out the table as a desk. Wasn't sure if this is going to work, but I think it will. I've got, uh, I might have to put a pad on the stool. <laughs> it's a little hard to sit for too long, but it's otherwise really comfortable. I've plugged in my, my big hard drive because I'm trying to find some old photos. So I have photos on this back to my first digital photos in 1999. There are probably, there might be a million files on here. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I'd, I'd have to count, but there could be. It's 10 terabytes of data, and I've got stuff backed up all over, but I was working on a video and I wanted to find some old photos. In New York, everything, from 99 until 2022. I guess I haven't updated 23 on here, backed up yet. <laughs> That's a lot of photos. Yeah, wow. Really cool. The problem is, what happens to me is I go down a rabbit hole. I'm looking for specific images. I wrote, wrote down last night when I was editing video of what I, I, I need the photos that I need, the the problem, with, well, that's not it, but the problem is I start looking at other photos and then I'll go down a rabbit hole and look at other photos for hours. So I'm going to try to be really disciplined. I'm going to be disciplined. I am. I have gotten so much better at not doing that in the last year, year and a half that I don't think I will because I, I want to get this video done and I, 
need to find these photos to do that. And I'd rather be doing that than going down a rabbit hole that probably would just make me kind of sad. So that's what I'm doing. It's really comfortable. <laughs> I really like it. I'm so glad I got this table. Anyway, it was, it was a great day. I, I feel like every day it's more homey. It's getting closer to being organized. I'm trying to find a couple things to so I can mount the lamps in places. But overall, uh, it's really coming together. It's really, really, it's really comfortable, I, I have to say. Looking for New York City. Road trip to New York City. There it is. Okay. Hmm. Wow, I remember every suit that I see in here. It's, they're, they're all right there. I think so chronologically. I store, I mean, I was able to find these and you just saw it. You, I just plugged it in. I found the photos I wanted from 2004. I, I think chronologically. So I, I keep all my photos in folders by year, month, date and you could tell me a shoot that I did and I could probably find it in <laughs> uh, minutes at the most I, I I'll remember that I did a shoot in 2007 and I'll just go right and find it I don't organize by whether it's a portrait or a wedding or personal or anything it's all all together and it's worked well for me. I've got, I have, I, ha, I have 25 years on here. That's pretty amazing. You should see this. <laughs> I suppose like there's a screen app that you can do this, but let's see. Okay. So all I did is I went to, I knew it was 2004, I, I knew it was October, I went to road trip to New York City, and there they are, Polaroids, my very favorite day of ever shooting photography, most fun ever had. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty amazing. I was able to find it that quickly. Surprised myself. Well, actually, no, I didn't, because I know I can find them. Okay. I'm going to get to work. See, now I'm procrastinating by talking to you guys. Hey, I hadn't uh, recorded anything today. Um, just hanging out in Bentonville, Arkansas, waiting for my friend. And I've been editing videos. And I, I tell you, I just love this furniture piece I got. I can sit there on that stool and work and look outside and I brought the stove out to do some pasta. Very simple pasta. <laughs> it's a step. <laughs> I am planning my my route out east. I don't know what route I'm going to take yet. I still would like to see my friend in Mountain Home, Arkansas. But I've stayed in Bentonville for... <laughs> never would have guessed I would have been in Bentonville, Arkansas for the first four days of my trip. But it is beautiful. It's warm. It's a little windy. Uh, I think I'm going to go through Memphis and go straight east, like to Chattanooga, and then into North Carolina, and then up the coast, I think. Uh, I'm not gonna go south, I took too, too much time here. So I wanna be, I wanna be out on the east coast by middle, middle of next week, for sure. And I'm super excited. Uh, once I got down here, it was kind of funny. I had two, well, a friend of mine, pretty good friend of mine, over the years. Bentonville's a big mountain bike area. And he said he was coming down with his boys to mountain bike for a week. And so they're, they're coming in this afternoon. And I said, hey, I'll make dinner. 
so I, I got, I'm going to make Korean stir fry, veggie stir fry. It'll be interesting how that goes. I bought a wok. I, I love my Southeast Asia food. And, and so I thought a wok would be kind of fun to have. And, and so that's going to be really fun to see him and hang out and have dinner and do some biking tomorrow. And then another friend from Minneapolis texted me and said, Hey, I'm going to be in Bentonville on Sunday mountain biking with, with his son. So I might, I might stay to see him and then leave Monday morning. But I got here Tuesday. That's almost a, that's six days in, in Bentonville, which I wouldn't have expected. But uh, that's how it works, right? You just go with the flow. I, I'm, I'm undecided if I'm going to stay until Monday. I, I may feel the need to leave a little bit earlier. We'll see how, how tomorrow goes. But, you know, it's a shame to leave on Sunday when he's coming on Sunday. So if I just stay one more day, I can hang out with him. Maybe it'll, I don't know, we'll see. But I'm looking forward to cooking tonight. I did get my fruits and vegetables. I got some blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, bananas. Um, and obviously I have my veggies for tonight. So um, I'm going to have to get started on some prep. And I had to stock up. There's so, many, so much stuff I didn't have. Obviously, I didn't have hoisin sauce. And I didn't have sesame oil, soy sauce, sesame seeds. So there's a bunch I didn't have. But I'm looking forward to just being present. I'm going to put some music on and just enjoy... Enjoy the afternoon prepping to cook dinner tonight while I plan my route. So if you are somewhere between Bentonville, straight east to the east coast, you want to hang out. Well, you'll, by the time I, you see this, I'll be already past you. But <laughs> no, I'm really looking forward to it. I got, I got friends to see all the way, all the way. So... It'll be, it's going to be great. I've been, I've been to Nashville twice, no, once with my son on our road trip. So I don't really need to go to Nashville. Memphis, we went through. But West Virginia, like the West and the, I might go up to, I might go up through Kentucky. I might go up through Kentucky and across into Virginia. I might have to see like where I might have the best. Well, I, the great, the Smoky Mountains are something I'd, I haven't really spent a lot of time in. I don't think I've spent any time in really except driving through it. So that actually probably something I should do. I'm gonna, I'll check boondocking spots there. And then maybe go through Charlotte And then up. Yeah, I have to go. I have to go through the Smoky Mountains. So if I'm here, that's basically straight east, probably right before Asheville. I've been to Asheville and it was cool, but I, I don't really have a strong urge outside of I was I was there during COVID. And right after George Floyd, and I don't feel like I saw Asheville as Asheville is. So I, I do I do like the idea of going through it again. Um, it was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the drive from here on out. It's it, it's going to be great. The drive here was like, it was not great. It was not great. But I got out. I got out is what I needed to do. And I took my first shower today. So it's Friday. My last shower was Tuesday morning. So it felt really good. It felt really, really good. My friend is going to be here pretty soon. I should probably start, probably clean up the van a little bit, but it, it's pretty good. 339. He was supposed to be coming into Bentonville at 330, the grocery store, and then I think they're going to come find me. So 
I am going to get to work. 